So hello, my colleagues, and uh, we move on to Chapter 2 now in uh, Capital Markets uh, Finance 545 here. And in this chapter, we're going to look at uh, financial markets. They say fascinating and institutions. Okay, so we're going to look at those. And there'll be a more detailed treatment of these uh, of the financial system in chapters 8 and 12 so this will serve as, a, as an introduction and these are the learning objectives that are going to appear in this chapter all right so uh, just as an introduction uh, there's a, you may want to uh, read this preview here Okay, uh, so financial markets here, right? They uh, they they perform the essential uh, economic function of channeling money from households, firms, and governments that have saved surplus funds uh, to those that have a shortage of funds because they uh, they wish to spend more than their income. So some people save and some people borrow, right? So we can see that uh, picture right here, right? And you can see here's the financial intermediaries and here's the lenders. Money's going in and here's money going out and here's the borrowers. And the intermediaries will invest in financial markets. This is known as uh, direct finance, right? Where the uh, lenders put funds in financial markets and then that goes right to the uh, borrowers, right? And then over here, um, the funds go to an in intermediaries, right? And then that goes here. So there's an indirect finance and then there's a direct finance. So there's two routes, right? We have two routes here that the funds go to. Direct and indirect, all right? So borrowers borrow funds directly from financial markets, right? As you can see here by selling securities and indirect finance in which a financial intermediary such as a broker right borrows funds from lenders and savers and then uses those to make loans to borrowers so these would be like banks right and this is the uh, let's say the markets the uh, stock markets so let's uh, Watch this little uh, video here for a couple of minutes and see how this all plays out. This figure shows the flow of funds through the financial system. The two boxes in the figure divide participants in the economy into two groups. The lower left-hand box describes lender savers, those who have saved surplus funds and are lending them out. The principal lender savers are households, but business enterprises in the government, particularly state and local government, as well as foreigners and their governments, sometimes also find themselves with excess funds and lend them out. The lower right-hand box describes borrower spenders, who must borrow funds to finance their spending. The most important borrower spenders are businesses and the government, particularly the federal government. But households and foreigners also borrow to finance the purchase of cars, furniture, and houses. Financial markets perform the essential function of channeling funds from lender savers to borrow spenders. The arrows show that funds flow from lender savers to borrow spenders through two routes. Direct finance, shown at the bottom of the figure, involves lender savers directly providing funds in financial markets to borrow spenders by borrowing securities issued by borrow spenders. Indirect finance, shown at the top of the figure, 
has a financial intermediary stand between the lender savers and the borrow spenders and helps transfer funds from one to the other. Indirect finance operates in two ways. The more direct route is for lender savers to provide funds to a financial intermediary. Say, by putting funds into a bank account, and then the financial intermediary, the bank, provides funds to borrower spenders by making them loans. Indirect finance can also operate through financial markets. The lender savers again provide funds to a financial intermediary, say a mutual fund. And then the financial intermediary uses the proceeds to buy securities in financial markets, thereby transferring funds to the borrower spenders who have issued these securities. Well-functioning financial markets are crucial to the health of the economy because they allow funds to move from people who lack productive investment opportunities to people who have such opportunities. Okay, so that was a good uh, introduction. So uh, with direct finance, let me highlight this here. Right? With direct finance, Borrowers will borrow funds directly from lenders in financial markets by selling the lenders' securities, right? So let's say the bonds, right? Some corporations or, or, or companies will issue stocks and bonds, otherwise known as financial instruments, right? And that's considered direct, right? So, uh, and these will be claims on the borrower's future income or assets. So securities are assets for the person who buys them, but liabilities for the individual that sells them, okay? So if Ford, like, so if Ford needs to borrow uh, funds to pay for a new factory, they may issue bonds, right? So it'll borrow uh, from the funds from savers, let's say uh, Ford bonds, by selling them a bond, otherwise known as a debt security, and they'll make periodic interest or coupon payments, okay? Or they could even sell stock, and uh, the company will pay them uh, a share of the company's profits and assets and through dividends, okay? And this will be done through dividend. All right. So, all right, so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll knock this off here, and we'll pick up over here on uh, part uh, two.